Welcome to the channel and welcome to this review video. The good folks at P Works War Games have sent me this arid plains neoprene mat for your reviewing pleasure. So I have a game this afternoon, so I'm going to put the mat on the table. I'm going to poke at it with a stick, a metaphorical stick, obviously, whilst uh, pointing the camera at it and talking at you. And then uh, set up a table with some scenery as yet undetermined. So let's open it up. Okay, and here we have the mat. And it's, it's arid and plainy. Uh, it's obviously, you can see, it's a mixture of browns and beiges and the spectrum in between. Um, I don't know how well the colour comes across on camera, uh, but in the room, this is really quite vivid. I mean, this section here, it's got a very, it's got a very tan hue to it. I like vivid mats. One of the other P-Work mats I've got is uh, a ruined city, and that's very vivid. They tend to be my, my mats of choice. This is really nice. And we've got a lot of different shades. We've got some dark browns, dark brown patches, some light brown patches. And what I'm keen to see, because the first thing I always turn to in my mind is, how's it going to look with scenery on it? Because I like colours to blend naturally. So if I'm putting gravel on a board, I like the gravel to blend with the mat to a certain extent to make it less jarring. So we've got some different colour patches. You've got different shades of scenery. Um, obviously, scenery pieces have different colours. So some lighter ones, some darker ones. Let's have a look how it looks with gravel and some odds and sods of scenery on it before we go into making a full-blown board. Ah. Well, as you can see, I've picked random pieces of scenery out of my collection and just plonked them down on different parts of the table to see how they look. And I think we're looking pretty good. Um, so what have we got? These... These are all from various different companies. I don't think any of these are P Works. Some of them are GW. Some of them are other uh, manufacturers of terrain um, and various bits and bobs. It's just a mat that's uh, that's P Work, but just obviously the usability of a mat. You, you've got to get terrain on it. So these desert rocks, I think, were pretty cool on the lighter parts of the map. I think mean, they're pretty cool. Uh, the grey, the the rust on this vehicle looks like it matches. The base is a little bit jarring on the lighter bits, not so much on the darker bits. Same goes with these sandbags and these bunkers, uh, craters. They blend nicely on here, a uh, little less so on here. I'm going to get some gravel on in a minute to see how the gravel looks. So even these dark foresty type rocks that I've used mostly on forest boards, place them on a dark part of the board and they kind of work like i said it's gonna be some gravel in a minute a uh, few gw imperial buildings some uh an aos building well oh, what's it called the um uh, oh there's a name for the board that that comes from and he says absolutely not looking on his shelves blasted hollow heart uh these would make a sort of nice these look good in a uh, in an AOS deserty type complex concert complex context. Uh, it's also not bad as a Martian proxy. Uh, it's not red, but I can sort of imagine almost like the rocky part of Tatooine. Oh, I could play Star Wars on this map. Oh, mm. Almost like the rocky part of uh, Tatooine, sort of desert esque. So there's uh, there's. Uh, oh, Admech thing there. And, and surprisingly, even the grey ones look okay. They break up the brown. I don't think I'd want a whole table just of the brown. I don't, just of brown notes. I think the grey breaks it up quite nicely. I'm interested to see what happens when I put gravel around these. How, uh, how well they blend. Speaking of which, let's break out the gravel. Okay, here we are with some gravel. Now, obviously, I've not gone full gravel on the board because that takes about an hour to take up and put down. 
So, uh, uh, and I'm going to do a full board in a minute. But just in terms of how things blend, this is this is my standard thing. This is aquarium pea gravel that you can get from most uh, pet shops slash aquaria, um, and it's got a mix of tones. So a lot of which is brown, but there's the occasional darker tone in there as well. And I think, I mean, the the scenery the, the scenery piece, despite the fact it's lighter than the mat, or rather the fact uh, the mat, it's this still got some of the same tones as the mat, and I think the mat really blends well into that scenery piece. And I'm seeing the same here and here with gravel, the scenery pieces to the mat. There's nothing jarring uh, in the eye. I've tried on this piece, the pea gravel and some aquarium sand. I don't think the sand works on this mat. I think this is a pea gravel mat. Um, equally, I think it uh, ties in the greyer scenery with it nicely. Because the gravel's got some of those other notes in it, I think it blends and doesn't look out of place. So, pretty pleased with that. Uh, so, greys and browns. Yeah, okay. To a grey and a greyy browny table. And before I forget, because I undoubtedly will forget, uh, there is a uh, a discount code that comes along with this video that the uh, the good folks at P Work uh, have set up to give a uh, a percentage discount. I can't remember the percentage, and I just realised I can't remember. Uh, but I, and also it's going to be valid for two weeks after this video comes out. So in the description below will be the code, the percentage discount and the valid from and to date. So tap on the description if you want to uh, take advantage of that discount code with P work. Right now, clear all this off and let's do a full table. And here we have a finished table. Uh, going for, this is obviously it's an AOS table because it's an AOS game I'm having this afternoon. Got some of that blasted hollow heart in the centre and uh, some other rocky formations around the side. Tied in with a bit of gravel and a bit of um, autumnal note lichen. I think this mat looks pretty cool. I can see me using this quite a bit because it goes with a number of terrain sets I've got. So, yeah, there we go. Again, big thank you to uh, P Work War Games for sending this map for free for my uh, for reviewing and uh, and such. Oh, there's a stone out of place. Move that stone. Uh, and if you are interested in a discount code for P Work War Games, check out the description uh, associated with this video. People say the description below. It isn't below. I don't know where I've got that from. Yes, I do. Winter says it. That's where I got it from. Uh... So on that note, take care, everyone, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.